The installation procedure is the very core of this e-training. We will now proceed to explain how you can install Squid on small and big windows, in humid spaces and on glass interiors. We'll show you how to properly store and stock the product, turning each installation into a resounding success. To install Squid properly, we recommend using the following tools. 1. A stable cutter with a sharp stainless steel blade so you don't damage the glass. We recommend a 30 degrees Olfa knife, reference SAC-1, and to always keep some spare knives at hand. 2. A hard squeegee, no felt, with at least one straight corner to help you easily cut the corners. We recommend Yellow Max Teflon, reference YT12YMT01. 3. A professional glass or all-purpose cleaning detergent based on alcohol or ammonia to prepare the window and remove dust and fat particles. 4. Tape measure. 5. Sharp scissors. 6. Household cleaning paper. If needed, you can use the liner cutter at first to remove part of the liner. Make sure you don't remove any glue while cutting. That's why we recommend using the Bodyguard Knife by Yellow Tools. Reference yt one bgk one Now it's time to show you how the installation is done. Although Squid may look like an ordinary window cover, there are some crucial differences you need to be aware of as an installer. So please make sure you watch this video in full and with the utmost attention. Clean and degrease your window thoroughly with water and a dash of ammonia or with a window cleaner based on alcohol or ammonia. Completely dry off the window. Remove all grease off your hands to avoid soiling or damaging the textile. Measure the width and the height of the window you want to cover. Cut off a piece of squid larger than your window. Add 10 centimeters to your measurements to make sure squid overlaps your window entirely. Proceed to remove the upper 20 centimeters of the liner. It's best to use a liner cutter that only cuts through the liner. If you have no liner cutter, you can use a scissor but avoid touching the glue with the scissors at all times. Take your squid and align it with the top of your window. Lightly press squid against the window to stick it in place. Put as little tension on the fabric as possible. Make sure you have a flat, wrinkle-free squid area at the top. Avoid at all time to touch or dirty the glue. Remove the squid liner from the top down in strips of approximately 20 centimeters each. When removed, softly press the textile onto the window. Should you spot bubbles, gently remove the textile without touching the glue. It's best to remove it a little bit beyond the bubble. Then, softly release and drop the textile onto the window again. Use the squeegee to fix squid to the glass. Press the squid fabric from the center outwards. If bubbles remain, do not try to rub these out. Instead, repeat step 7, always removing squid a bit beyond the bubble, followed by a gentle release and drop. You can use the round corner of the squeegee to exert a little soft pressure. Push squid at the edges closely onto the silicone framework. Cut off the excess squid, but leave approximately 1 to 2 centimeters for final precision trimming. Cut the corners open for a more accurate cutting. Break off a piece of the cutter's blade to make sure your knife is razor sharp. We recommend renewing the blade after every two meters or after every corner. Carefully cut the excess with your utility knife. Place the plastic squeegee between your knife and the window frame to help you cut in a straight line and protect the silicone framework. Try to stay one to three millimeters away from the silicone and try to cut in one continuous go. For straight angles, use your squeegee for alignment. Be careful in the corners, they might still be attached. Remove the excess squid carefully. Cut off any uncut filament. 
Almost there, just one more thing left. Use the round corners of your squeegee and press squid hard onto the window to activate the glue. We recommend applying approximately 10 kilograms of pressure onto the squeegee. One horizontal and one vertical press should do the trick to get a full 100% coverage of the textile. Never forget to close and seal your squid roll after using it. If you want to avoid tunnelling on the remaining squid material so you can use it again for a later installation, always close the roll properly after every installation. That's it. You're all set. Nothing left to do but to enjoy the result. The Ten Commandments of the Squid Installation 1. It is always a dry installation. Do not apply any moist or water. 2. Do not overstretch the textile. Stretching will deform the textile permanently. Instead, let squid fall gently onto the window. 3. Never attempt to push out any bubbles. Instead, partly remove the textile beyond the bubble and let it fall onto the window again for realigning. 4. When cutting squid onto the frame, leave a 1 to 3 mm gap to avoid damaging the silicone around the glass. 5. Do not cut into the window silicone or rubber. 6. Always use a razor sharp knife. Make sure to frequently break off pieces off the blade to secure this, preferably after every 2 metres or for each corner. 7. Always cut in one continuous movement without lifting the knife. 8. Always pay specific attention to the edges to avoid tear or filaments in the corner. 9. When the cutting is done, one horizontal and one vertical hard push should suffice to activate the glue. And 10. Keep your mind and tools sharp at all times. Precision will secure the stylish finishing you're going for. We said it before, squid is a semi-permanent window textile, and although it can easily be repositioned upon installation, it will stick harder to the window once the glue is activated. Avoid removing any activated squid. The glue adhesion only increases after activation. Should you remove it nonetheless, there may be a small amount of glue residue on the window. That leaves less glue onto the textile and will impact your reinstallation of this piece of removed squid. The remaining glue on the window can be easily removed with some tepid water and a microfiber cloth. If necessary, you can also use a scraper for complete removal. Squid can also be installed seamlessly onto windows that are wider than 1m30. We developed a specific three-layer method for this, based on the classic two-layer overlap method. If you only use two layers, you may notice a small gap between the two installations. That will be annoying. That's why we recommend using the three-layer method. This involves adding an extra layer at the bottom that prolongs the parts that will be cut off with about one-tenth of a millimetre. When you're cutting, these parts will be joined together for a more secure connection. To do this right, please consider the following. Use a big cutter ruler for a perfect clean horizontal and vertical cut. A straight line is a must for a perfect alignment when applying dark colours. Don't mismatch two different grain patterns. It will show if the orientation of one squid part is not perfectly matched with the adjacent strip. You'll lose the sleek, minimalistic effect you're after and you'll end up with a sloppy result. Compare the orientation between squid strips before installing them and make sure they complement one another to appear as a whole before you start. Chalk and bone are the easiest to install seamlessly. Step-by-step -step procedure for the three-layer method. Clean the window as indicated before. Cut off the material you need and reseal the roll. Stick a first layer onto the window as described in the previous basic installation procedure. Make sure the first layer has a 5cm overlap with the side of the frame. Cut off the excess squid and stick this below the first layer where you will encounter an overlap between two parts. Put the second layer onto the window and secure a 3 to 5 cm overlap with the first layer.
apply secure pressure around the overlap using your squeegee. Finish the edges of the window following the basic installation procedure. Use a new cutter to flawlessly cut through the three layer overlap. Use a cutting ruler to secure a straight cut. Cut in one continuous movement without lifting the knife. Remove the different layers on the left and right hand side of the central cut. Adjust the two parts carefully towards one another and correct manually whenever, wherever necessary. Press carefully, yet securely. Activate the squid by pressing the entire window horizontally and vertically. We recommend applying approximately 10 kilograms of pressure to be sure the glue is well activated. You can seamlessly install squid both horizontally and vertically. An experienced installer can even seamlessly install printed squid. Unlike other window films, Squid is compatible with HR++ windows. This textile has an open, breathing structure which allows for a smooth passing of the warmth energy of the glass. A window covered with Squid will not heat up. Laboratory tests indicate that temperature differences never exceed 35 degrees Celsius when comparing Squid covered and uncovered windows. Unprinted Squid can never cause thermal breakage but a few precautions should always be considered. Never use printed squid on HR++ glass. Avoid heat sources or any other object that may heat up the window in the near proximity of your window. The lighter squid colours, chalk and bone, are the most optimal ones as they reflect more solar energy. We hinted at this before and you can still install squid in environments that are more humid. However, do make sure that the glass is 100% dry before installing and that it remains dry throughout the installation. That no water is streamed or jetted directly onto squid after the installation. That you avoid pushing or tugging the textile when the glass is condensed. This may cause the textile to shift out of place. If you're installing squid in a shower cabinet, you may only install it on the outside glass. Accidents happen, so what do they do when squid goes wet during installation? Use a dry cloth to absorb as much water as possible and let the remaining water evaporate from your squid. Avoid causing squid to slide over the glass surface. You want it dry without moving. In a cold, humid environment, you can use a hair dryer to softly and carefully speed up the evaporation process. Avoid applying too much heat to a single spot on the glass to avoid thermal cracks. When you're 100% sure the textile is 100% dry, you can finish the installation by activating the glue. What to do when squid gets wet immediately after the installation and activation? Do not push, pull, tug the textile in any way. You risk displacing the squid. Let the textile rest to evaporate the water. If the squid has shifted position, Wait until it is completely dry before reactivating the glue. Sometimes when you install squid on both ends of the glass in a matching direction, you'll get a rippled or watered appearance. It's a common effect called the moi effect. You can easily avoid this by rotating the direction of one squid layer by 90 degrees. And never forget, never put two layers of squid on top of one another. The glue is designed to stick to glass, not onto another layer of squid. Installing squid onto glass surface without a frame may cause difficulties. Steer clear from sticking squid all the way to the edge of the glass to avoid fraying. We advise you to keep a 2 to 5 mm distance from the edge to secure a beautifully lasting result. Squid glue is uniquely designed to stick to vertical glass surface. It can also be installed onto non-glass surfaces, provided these are completely smooth and devoid of dust and fat particles. When applied to a plastic basis, PMMA, PC, PET, please take this into account. Different polymer sheets have different surface tensions, higher adhesion, tact. 
This complicates removing squid. Removing squid may permanently deform the substrate once squid is removed. You need to be aware of this and you need to make people aware of this before proceeding. Each plastic is different, so we recommend testing each installation first to check results. The correct installation will be the sole responsibility of each installer. We must stress again that the five-year service life offer and flame retardant properties only apply if and when squid is installed onto vertical glass surfaces. If this condition is not fulfilled, the statements are not valid. Squid is a unique product that comes with some very specific guidelines. Not complying with these guidelines may result in a damaged textile or a worthless installation. So please consider following steps carefully. What is tunneling? Tunneling means that squid is detaching itself from the liner in some areas. This may cause permanent deformation, leaving behind bubbles on the textile after installation. This deformation is permanent and can no longer be rectified or removed. We recommend you stick to the squid storing and stocking guidelines to avoid tunneling. Acclimatization. To avoid any issue when installing, you need to follow these acclimatization precautions prior to the installation. Whether warm or cold weather, you need to acclimatize your roll of squid. Before installing, remove the roll from the box and let it get used to a room temperature between 15 and 22 degrees Celsius for the duration of at least one hour. Make sure to not open or unroll the roll. It needs to stay tightly pressed to avoid tunneling of the textile. It is best to install squid in spaces that have a stable temperature ranging between 15 and 22 degrees Celsius. To secure a firm adhesion of the glue, make sure the glass surface on which you wish to install squid has a temperature that's higher than 10 degrees Celsius. Avoid unrolling your squid roll up to the exact moment of installation to avoid tunneling. If you have either printed on or cut squid, you must roll it back firmly onto the cardboard core up to the exact moment of installation. Make sure to keep the roll tightly secured by applying three pieces of tape to keep it in place. Avoid overstretching the textile. This will cause permanent deformation, resulting in bubbles that cannot be removed. Never rub out bubbles or air droplets. Just gently remove squid a little beyond the bubble and let it fall back onto the window effortlessly. After cutting, never forget to activate the glue by pressing squid hard onto the entire surface. Always use a sharp knife to avoid fraying of the textile. We recommend breaking off a fresh blade after every two meters or for every corner. This will optimize the efficiency of the installation process altogether. Storing and stocking. Never lose track of the number one rule. Always store squid tightly rolled onto the cardboard core. Avoid storing and stocking the squid material in an unrolled format without a core at all times. You can store squid in its original packaging for a duration of two years in a space that complies with the following elements. Stable temperature of 15 to 22 degrees Celsius. Air humidity of between 50 and 55%. Once removed from its original packaging, squid can be stored on the roll provided the textile is tightly compressed to the cardboard core and the outer edge of the textile is kept in place by applying equally parted pieces of tape on the left, middle and right part of the roll. That's how tunneling is avoided. Stock your squid rolls horizontally, select a carrier that will reduce pressure damage, do not apply extra pressure onto the textile, never add weight on top of the roll. Key takeaways to remember always. 1. Always tightly roll squid back onto a cardboard core. 2. Make sure squid has been acclimatised to a stable room temperature before installing. And 3. Activate the glue when installation is done by applying a firm pressure evenly.